This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? I got to do these things for all of them. I was across the street there and they played St. Francis. Oh, uh, yeah. Phil Booth. They all go. What a career for Phil Booth. One man bought his eight conference championships. We got two great coaches, plenty of experience. Oh, of course. With the layup there, we're down to seconds left here in the corner. 
20 to 13 now. The travel gate's hanging in there. Yes, they are. Usually when you win two three conference titles in a row, you look into the A conference after that. Boom. Yeah, you usually rise up. Second quarter here underway. The Marsh Diacos, Kevin Salma here with you. At UMBC for the big conference championship game, the MIA. Chapel Gate down nine. Early Coach Salma and see if any adjustments was made by Coach Ferguson. Well, you know, like I said, it might be a little bit of butterflies not used to being here. The butterflies continue. Smith. Wow. I don't, nah, that was close. The ball will go back to Chapel Gate. Yeah, I think that should be reversed. I agree with the Raps there. They caught it over, reverse the call. <laughs> oh, you know, one thing, the Chapel Gate people is out today. They are out here. One of my former players uh, played for Chapel Gate, Jordan Prado. He's uh, doing pretty good down in Pennsylvania in college. He was a big time player for uh, Chapel Gate. Some well. I know he's voting for his former team. Bounce pass, dips inside the big fella and one. And one of the in the middle there. Hey, the big fella keeping him in the game. Yep. Looking like an undersized Charles Buffy out there getting work done. now here. 24-16 your score. Eight point lead here for St. Mary. Back over the wall. Oh! Pass. Oh man! Aiden Harris at the finish. He's got about eight points here so far in the half. That's what you call fundamentally sound basketball. That's hard to beat. No doubt. The lead back to 10 here for the defending D conference champion St. Mary. You see St. Mary's as well, coach. The way they move the ball crisply. Looking inside the big fella. No good. Offensive rebound there. The Buana. Good time passing. That was a big time bucket indeed. The St. Mary's team so well ruled. This guy's been together for years. Harris again. Boom! My goodness. Aiden Harris does have a college he's going to next year. I had a look at it again. Old school Tom Chambers on that side. He did. 29-18, your score, 11 point lead. Here for the Saints. Trying to win their second straight beat conference title. Deep three! Oh, no, sale for offensive rebound. Mulberry tries again. That bounced off the bat. Rebound to Lomax. Oh, look out. Now ball. Going back to St. Mary. Tempo right now, favorite St. Mary's with a three figure. The tempo of the contest. Lomax brings it up. 11 point lead for St. Mary's. 548 to go. Shot clock at 16. And back to Bryant. Back to Harris. Oh man, oh man, that's too much. 
too good right now for a That young fella is patient as they come. Gave a couple up fakes, waited, and delivered. But he delivered that one right in the middle, man. Call him over. <laughs> but I'm going to give props to Bryant, too. He stayed patient. He didn't force a shot. Foul there. Bryant could have forced a shot, then he got the better pass to her. That's a foul on this end. It was end. quite obvious what Chapel Gate is trying to do. Get the ball out of the way. Get the ball out of the way. Gavin Johnson, the freshman in the game here. So they married. Now, that's my first time seeing they married. Because they played early in December. Didn't see a lot of uh, the young fella here, Johnson. Yeah, so. Low insert in season here. Inside. And back up. Nice body adjustment, offensive rebound in there. Davis. Davis. You see the two styles of basketball. One of them is more talented than the other side at athleticism. But St. Murray's is well schooled in execution. What style will prevail? I think execution. Bryant missed it. The big fella with it. Oh. oh. Offensive rebound back to Lomax. Tipped in this. Got to get the rebound there. You tell okay, they do there. It's Davis. That green pointer might have been a dagger early. Block and foul. That's the 15th foul on St. Murray's. Halfway in the second. Team foul, goal number one, Jason Smith. This second, Team Fifth. Robert Keon. Great from Pond. Four across. Inside. Nice adjustment. No good. Blocked away. Let the rebound back to Chapel Gate. The Yellow Jackets. Got to convert them. Should have made the first one. Forced it in there. And Mark with the finish there. 33 22 to score. That's definitely bigger in my opinion. Dion with that miss. Marbury trying to take advantage of it. Coming straight down the court. Look at his side. That might call for more time. And again. We're playing again. It's Chapel Gate. We're we'll back. Back to game action now. Lomax with the ball. And a nine point game here. Again, Chapel Gate hanging in this one. Chapel Gate hanging around. Brian back to Harris. Harris, Colin. Good steal. That's a good steal by Lovewood. Again, both teams with a lot of seniors on it. C3! No, off the back. Good rebound. Offensive rebound. Oh, Looking good here. Couple of inside layups. No match with a bucket there. That was smooth. That was, that was very smooth. smooth. I'm glad that Davis. Good idea. Cut the eight. And then you gotta get 
some stops here of your chapel gate. You had a good one on the last day. Over to Johnson. And back here to Lomax. Lomax. Go dribble drive. That was the first really bad play. St. Mary's there forcing something. And it was. That's how Lomax didn't pull that back out. Ball will go back here to Chapel Gate down it's a, eight. It's a little momentum change going on right now. Say a little it's changing. Can Chapel Gate sustain it though? That's the question. We're gonna find out. Being patient here. Look like they're going three high diamond shift motion. Makes sense. To the basket. The pass. Davis for three. Travel. Good call by the official. He shuffled the feet before he shot it. He didn't have to shuffle the feet, actually. He was open from the time he scored it. Right, didn't need to do a shuffle there, but it happens. We're less than two minutes left. That was a big uh, possession there by Chapel. They're going to cut the lead to five. And um, got a great ball game. We already still have a game. No, it's Chapel Gate. No, it's Chapel Gate, you're right. My apologies. That was a big shot. They needed that one. Same substitution for Johnson and Hopper will be joined. Again, the winner of this matchup will get an automatic berth in the Maryland Private School Basketball Tournament. Three ball! Tipped in mess. Offensive rebound. Chapel Gate has gotten some extra, extra opportunities off of some great offensive rebounds. That's keeping them in the game. Extra possessions will do that. That will shot clock at nine, though. Remember, when you get the ball back, it's only set to 20. Three was high.
Back to Osama, second half underway, St. Mary. Trying to win their fifth B Conference title. And Chapelgate trying to get their first ever. On their way, due time move. Good to get it on. That was a good opening possession. It was. Just didn't call for them. That was huge there for Chapelgate. And the second half again. Davis fakes it. Back over to Marbley. Marbury inside, shooting the throw. Hello, oh, physical. Oh, now long one. That was a muggy. <laughs> oh boy. Two shots here. First team foul against the Saints. I tell you, we got to give um, Chapelgate some credit here to keep their composure. At one time, they were on the rim of being uh, put away early. The Indeed. St. Mary's back in the mid 2000s won two out of three titles. And the B, Mount Kelmo was sandwiched in the middle of that before Mount Kelmo moved up to the A and the BCL. Who was the last good team to move up from winning the B conference to the AC uh, to the um, To stay to stay to in A? Yeah. Well, they had to be Gilman and uh, Pilate, right? Right. They both of them moved up that year. Free home this. Smith inside the Bryant. Nice hand off. And one. Too easy, Coach Allen. Too easy. Yeah, good execution. Um, good execution, man. Pass inside, cut, hand off, layup. Excellent execution. Can't let St. Murray's get in that easy. That's a line to complete the three point play. Like Timmy from Gonzaga with the headband on. <laughs> I do. We're right back in our case. At the game action. There you as, go. Uh, Jason Smith's on the free throw shoot his second attempt. Jason Smith, uh, a pretty good athlete, man. He's uh, got a scholarship for the Naval Academy. He's going to play a little football at the Naval Academy. Wide receiver. Must be all pro in high school as a wide receiver to be headed to the Naval Academy. So he's doing it on both ends basketball. And side layup goes in for Davis to Chapelgate. To add on to what Coach Solomon has said about Casey Smith, the three there from Smith, no good. Harris in there. He's going to St. Francis in Pennsylvania next season. Good to see the young kids going well and getting that college education. Yep. Drive, pull up, jumper. Play goes out. Smith. What you were saying, Coach Solomon, they won the beat conference in football this year, beating. Smith is uh, yes, got it in there. Beats some Koya Prep for the beat conference title. That's a foul there. Foul on Smith, been calling his name a lot. Yes, he has in the last minute or so. He's been active this second half, right out the gate. 41-32, a nine-point game here. And this one? Smith had both hands up with a little puck there. I'm sure he felt like he might have been a great football wide receiver that he is. No good. Got to hit these free throws here, man. First up. As uh, St. Mary's is pulled away by nine again. And, uh, Chapel Day has a chance to cut it to eight with the second free throw coming. No good. Need them free throws. Smith on the rebound once again. And Wolf on the run. Straight to the basket and in. And party like the Red Sea right there. Yes, it is. 43 32, you score. Travel. That's a walk. Except the mess there. It didn't affect things, but it definitely wasn't wrong. Wolf gives it up here to Harris. Now Harris, his younger sister won the B Conference title last Let's week. Here. We need a timeout. Oh, oh Brian. Missed the layup there. I was saying Harris's younger sister, they won the B Conference title on the girls' side. Defeating St. Timothy's. Big boy inside. Down there, I'm like, that's a big color, eh? 
seven years. He imposed all two of them. They're looking for Harris, you can see it. Harris fades, tip and mess, good defense there. Now ball. Should be safe, should be on Kobe, I mean Chapel Gates ball. ball. It is. No two case there, talking about Kobe. No ball. Four fifty remaining here in the third. Looking to drive again. Oh, off the back, no good. Here comes Wolf. That's new school basketball right there. Here's the three. The B conferences in both the IAM and in the MIA. Is it time for St. Mary's to move up? To the A conference. See how good they really are with the win tonight. That's the question indeed. Off the screen is Wolf. Lost on the deck. They're able to hold on to it. Good timeout. My post win. Yeah, you can do that if you have a session first. We're back. Back here in the game action now. Nine seconds. Get left on the shot clock for St. Mary's. Hopper. Yeah. The sophomore with that one. Too easy. Too easy. This is starting to get away a little bit from travel game. Yeah. Here on old hilltop. Here at UMBC. Got to make the free throws, huge, huge here. Yeah. Uh, how do you say it now? I'm going to leave that to him. <laughs> I, I concur. You know, free throws are lost. It stays with Travel Gate here. They got a gift there. Yeah, he beat him on the inside. Most can't be too happy about that. Timmy inside. A little fourth there in the middle to get it in. 48 36 is score. They got him in here. He is 6 7.
missed it high. That's four straight misses for Timmy at the free throw line. I think that's six straight for Travel Gate in general. Can't win ball games like that. No, less than his lead is increasing. Smith again! Captain Ness. That would have put the all. Uh, he held him. That might have put the nails in the cover. Yeah, after that. Going up 17 would have been huge. Made it 20. Why did I leave him 17? Made it 20, yeah. So Wolf is inbounded. Wide open is Lomax to three. Got him. Wide open.
your foul totals is getting up, you'll take that. It'd rather be two shots at the line instead of an and one. So, what's the no good. And again, that's why if you say Murray, second shot here for the, for the senior. Again, Chapel Gate is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chapel Gate got ten seniors to go south. Needed them free, need at least one of them, and they couldn't get it. He's missed his last six free throws. Big Jimmy, that is. If they, they, they would have hit half of them, you'd be right under 10. Half of them. You ain't got to tell me. My team missed 12 free throws the last game. We on the sideline. Shot clock at 8 here for Lomax. Lomax cuts the D. Back to 16. So say you're getting the lead down to 12, it's one. Game clock at two. Floats it, Mobley, no good. After three, Chapel Gate Christian down 16. In the big conference title game, and you'll be seeing quarterback here on the hilltop circle. Fourth quarter here underway, Go Solomon and St. Mary's up 16 in this one. Long pass, and that's a tunnel. It was more the pass than Aaron. And by the time almost able to control it, he was already out of bounds. It's a big stretch here for Chapel Gate early. The next two minutes, they gotta get this thing back within 10. Yeah, they got to uh, make some free throws, for sure. That's huge. Need it. Couldn't get it. Never was established. Tough bucket. That was good St. Mary defense. They made them. Smith on the rebound. Out that pass. Oh! There goes Smith. Jimmy Wolf. Oh, Shady Grady Wolf right there with the layup. 58. And this leads to 18 to make it to the contest so far. St. St. Mount St. Joe's coming on the other end. Oh, man. They look good, folks. They look good for Travel Gate here. Uh, all, you, all you can do is keep fighting at this point. I agree. Play hard to the end. Yep. We'll be here in the B conference title game here. UNBC. Inside. Long pass. Lomax. Is he looking for the That's finisher? The gagger. The gagger was not delivered. Harris, though, gets the roll. And he's going to the lead. That was a, not quite a dagger, but it was putting you in the bag, as I would say. Up top. And one. Big time bucket there by Davis. Got to hit this and one, though. Have to hit the end. Great to see Chapel Gate still competing hard. No doubt. Feeling the game is not over by no means. Well, if you, if you got Iowa Mississippi State yesterday, it wasn't over. By yeah. Iowa, that is. At the line from the yellow One of the greatest comebacks I've seen since, since Duke beat Maryland with 50 seconds to go oh, no. years ago. Going yeah. by 10. Don't they talk about that Duke Maryland game? Don't they talk about that? <laughs> Back to St. Mary's. So with Smith, he's not going far from home, Annapolis. And where St. Mary's is, and then around the corner is maybe. So not 
one fought off. Yeah, Rats and Wolf coming down the court here. Oh! Right call. Late whistle. And the outside ref called it. I don't know how he could have seen the foul. Oh, that's a He saw that foul from the position he was in. He had a referee right in front of him, but he didn't call it. But nevertheless, the new possession is Off the screen. Lomax! Oh. Got it back! It's Wolf! Harris! Larry Bird! Tip the mess. Personal, no. Brian with the rebound, back to Lomax. Good hustle, all this knee. Oh yeah, it was. It was packed first by Chuck, but then it went off the knee. That was, uh, that was something you don't see every day. He missed the layup, instead of getting down, he sprinted back and caused a turnover. You don't see that every day no more. You don't, that's good hustle. That's great hustle. Yeah. Blocked there uh, by Harris, back to Wolf. Numbers the same line. Missed it high. They got it. Easy. Lay up there. 60 44 is the score. Here in this one. Harris with it. Shot clock at 15. Harris to the basket. Off angle. No good. Time out from here. No good there. Foul. One on one time. Yellow Jackets foul called on zero. Jalen Barkley. This third. You know, we've both been at Harford Community College for the last couple of years for the MIAs, the IMs. Yes. And here at UMBC, both venues are amazing. Shooting, one and one, but I think drive-wise, uh, if you're from Anne Arundel County, being here at UMBC, a big deal. Smith misses the front end of a one and one. He did. That's a three from Lumwit. That's short. Good rebound. Offensive rebound. No good. Tap around. Ball should go back to St. Mary's as well. It should be one on one. And I agree with you, Coach Simon, by the way, that was a mismatch. Yeah, he's a little dragon star, a whole lot of zero, Jalen Barkley. His fourth, Team 8. Big tree for St. Francis. He's not eligible, he's one of their coaches. Good shot for Harris. And there. Lead back to 17 again. Shot clock at 17. Inside, no good, tap back, back up, no good, close it back up, roll in there. Dead. But unfortunately time is not on the side of the Yellow Jackets here. Oh, what a steal! Davis picked the pocket one and one. That was a small foul, by the way, by Lomax. Timeout. 
I think St. Mary's called it. 336 remaining in this one. As St. Mary's try to repeat as beat conference champions. We'll be back. All right, Coach Solomon, we're back to game action here. And 62 46 to score. 336 remaining in this one. Yeah, um, free throw line. That was a one and one there. First one made. Second one on the way. Much needed. Second shot went in. I think he's the 14. Yep. Then you got a pressure here. Can't leave guys open like that. Well, it was a full court press, so yep. sort of. And uh, turns his back. Got what you needed there. Jimmy on the rebound. And here come Marbley on the other end. Marbley straight to the 10. No good. No rebound. Good rebound by Davis. Couldn't I get it to go. Those. Yeah. Make those. Need a three. Lumwick. Show it. Yep. Foul there. Reach in. One and one. That three would have went. We still had a ball game. I agree. Lumwick has not been on in this game. Things only hit one of five. Yeah, uh, Chapelgate hasn't made too many three-pointers in this game. Every day pretty much been inside. Big Timmy pounding the boards, putting it back. In today's game, you need some threes to go down. Unfortunately, all the threes have been pretty much by St. Mary's. Free throw miss. Chapelgate on the move. Looking here, Marbury, got it to the basket, he's down as well. 240 left. Game ain't over just yet. Yeah, they're peeking out the bag now a little bit. We've seen stranger things have happened going back to just yesterday with Michigan State and Iowa. Yep. Bryant. And Timmy may have just fell out, or he's leaving the game. Or I think he did foul out. Short. Neither team has shot free throws well today. Yeah, St. Mary's has missed several. They usually don't. That's a one and one. That's the last thing that coach wants to see. Is uh, stopping the clock and uh, putting people on the free throw line. These are two for the Yellow Jackets, number four, Julian Ludwig. First one good. That was a big one and one right there. It was. Second shot rolls out. Talk about unkind. Use the whole rim on that one. 51 and 13 point game. Two minutes left. Whoa. Back to Lomax. Over the wolf again. Oh, hey. Bryant. In there. Put those in. Good pass. Back door. Back. Turned over. Lomax. He's coming. Block. Nice block, too. Davis, hold on. Man, that was a block. Oh. Have you seen one like that in a while? Great block. That was like an old school block. And cross the chapel gate there. But Tumbo would have waved two fingers on that block. <laughs> cross the chapel gate here. Fighting throughout this. I 
see the referee counting down. He was in guarding position. Oh, tip the mess. Good rebound. But again, a lot of time trying to off the clock. Once again, foul there by Chapelgate. Haven't seen it since 2020. In this game, yes, but we've seen it a couple of times. In Irvington and Super Bowl Bobby. Sunday. Yep. Where the big fella from Mount St. Joe had it his way. Yeah, Hansburg had an amazing game. And I'm what? trying to think in the matchups. I think the St. Francis won the first matchup last year. You know, St. Francis, Lemieux was coming off a 57-point game. Yeah. So can he continue his uh, great shooting? He yeah. had uh, 16 threes in that game. Yeah. He did. He did well the other night at Mount, at first was Mount Carroll, the game I had with him. And it was interesting there. That's the Merlin sign. 67, uh, 54, deep three. With them not following, they're saying, hey, it's all right. Yellow Jackets foul, call number one, Julian Sabah. This first. Mr. Smith on the free throw line. And the line for the same shoot two. Two shots. Jason Smith. So, yeah, St. Francis won the matchup in 2021. We were just talking about last one at it. That was Carrington's big game, but since. Then, it's all about St. Joe's. They won the past five meetings. Second free throw, good for Smith. I think they won at Sarrington and the BCLs. Yep, they won the last four. Time out, we're back with the finish. Coach. All right, we're back to game action here, it looks like. 20.8 remaining. Got to speed it up. If the trap will get here. There's not enough time here. Mobley, on top, no good. You got to shoot it. Tip the miss. One more chance, no good. Gotta do it. St. Mary's trying to get their fifth MIAB Conference Championship. And what a run has been for St. Mary's on the B Conference side and football, boys basketball, girls basketball, and I What a great run here for St. Mary's. I'm 11 for Chapel Gate. He's a senior or junior. He's a senior Funa. A lot of seniors here in St. Mary's. Remember, this season will continue with the Maryland Private School Tournament. So then where they're seating at, they could be playing Tuesday. I have to get them Wednesday. So, this season will not be over yet. Double K COVID. Mr. Smith knocks down two at the free throw line. One more three-pointer. No good. That's it.
great effort, just wasn't enough in this one today. 70-57 your final. Coming up next. Yeah, it's the big one. We got the big one here. St. Francis, Mount St. Joe's as Mount St. Joe's try to win five straight. But we know in this robbery, the unexpected usually happens when something like that usually happens. The bigger question is, the Alhambra has not announced all his teams yet. If St. Francis can somehow pull off the upset and get the victory, do they get the call from the Alhambra? Red at the B, I mean at the BCL and the MIA champion usually don't go. This is Die Sporting Network.